In this video, I'll be modeling a simple box mod. In the left corner is the menus that I've used in this design. Here I'm starting to sketch the outline. After I have the overall size, I add holes for the magnets. And right here, I'm just going to mirror both sides uh, up and down, left and right. And after here, I'll be extruding and then adding a shell to it. And right here, I'll just project the door size from the model and then copy it for the other side. After copying the door for the other side, I'll start to model the 510 and firing button holes. And right here, I'm just adding a fillet on the doors so it's rounded more. Normally when I make a box mod, I'll put a sketch down so if I have to move it around, it's easy to modify the model. So different sizes or different measurements that need to be inputted, I can just sketch the dimension and input it there. Now in Fusion, you can add it to a 3D print or CNC milling cam operations. And right here, I'm just adding inserts that I would not be able to model when I shell the model. This is just going to give a place for me to combine so I can put magnets or someone would want to put screws into the box mod. Now I'm just making it equal on both sides. And also in Fusion, you can change the sketches. So if something was too big, you can just go in and change it. And now right here is where I just combine those four inserts. Now in Fusion, you can add SVG for engraving or 
uh, modeling. So this is what I do right here. And right here is where I added my logo for my business. And just said strewed in or out. This will be applied to a 3D print or if you CNC mill it, you can uh, have an engraving pass. And right here, I just add some color to kind of give a visual aid. And that's how a simple box mod is modeled in Fusion 360. Now, if you liked my video, please leave a like and a comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and also make sure to check out my other videos.